Hello. Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial on for loop. We'll just uh, breeze through it. I mean the introduction. For loop is most versatile of uh, uh, all loops uh, in C programming. So it was favorite of uh, uh, computer scientist Viscastra. He used to say two or more use a for. Okay that much for quoting and great people in for you have got three parts one is initialization the content before first semicolon the second is comparison or where you put your terminating condition third is increment you can skip any of these no restriction you can skip any part you can skip all of them uh, then your loop will operate uh, based on different principles uh, we'll discuss that uh, later so as of now you can see i starts with 1 i goes till 10 and then it keeps incrementing and then uh, it runs through that table now you see i have declared i here so this i will not be available after this loop ends so i had to redeclare i again now i have skipped first initialization part because i have done that outside and again the same thing now see here again I have reset i to 1 and uh, then uh, uh, I have also skipped the increment but then I have to do increment inside. So all three will have a similar effect and all three should print ideally the same well same output all three should give same output. I have to just make it is equal to 10. So let's compile this. All text make um, oops make for dot slash for. You see, all three outputs uh, outputs are uh, same equivalent. Now, if you give something like this, then your loop is infinite, same as while one. Or for that matter, if you omit uh, the terminating clause, terminating condition. Even then it will be infinite loop. You see, it will be printed infinitely. So save this, we compile and we run. So you got an infinite loop. You have to cause uh, an interruption again. So we kill the program. This is how for loops work. But uh, suppose if you put a break statement, here it will break. We'll talk about break later also. It'll print once. We'll see how a break works, and uh, there is another statement called continue. We'll see that later when we write actual code to solve some problems. Till now we have dealt with constructs of language just to reach that stage where we can solve real problems useful problems and we can write useful programs so <clears throat> in uh, next few videos i'm going to show only examples only examples so that you get a thought process of how to solve problems in c remember c is a programming language so it is just like a language when you learn a language you need to use that in order to become fluent and achieve a command over that language so we need to write code and we need to write good code, <coughs> start with easy, then go on more difficult and more difficult code and then we see, okay, so now uh, <coughs> we have learned something because if you see till now, you might have forgotten my first video or maybe my fourth, fifth video till now. <coughs> but when you will write code, you will remember it for a longer period of time and programming is the only way by which you can remember stuff. These toy examples <coughs> won't help you remember stuff for a longer period of time though it explains the concept in that sense. So uh, next uh, video onwards we will be having examples of C. Till then enjoy, happy programming, keep watching.